Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Jen Sorensen and I've got something different for you today. I'm gonna to make you one of my favorite recipes right now. It's healthy, it's vegan, which I am not vegan, but I have friends and family that are, so this is a great thing to bring to a party when we're allowed to have parties again. Bring to a family gathering or drop off at someone who just had a baby or, you know, but it's a great thing for families. It's healthy, it's vegan, but it is delicious. It doesn't really take a lot of time or effort. It's one sheet pan and a bowl to combine everything. Maybe a cutting board, but yeah, minimal dishes, which is huge for me. So let's jump in and make this beautiful, like roasted cauliflower salad. Let's call it that. All right, let's, let's see how it's made. All right, let's start by talking about the ingredients you're going to need. I have two heads of fresh cauliflower, or you can use two bags of frozen, which I do all the time. I have, I'm gonna use half of a uh, container of the baby arugula. For the dressing, I'm going to need one lemon, some tahini, olive oil here, um, I like this spicy garlic, and I've gotten this on Amazon, so I'll link to this. This is a great harissa powder, and you can see the ingredients here. Paprika, Aleppo, ancho. So lots of different chili powders, garlic, onion. Um, the thing you'll notice is that there's no salt in this, so you'll want to add salt if you need it. Um, and then chickpeas as well. So not a whole lot of stuff here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up my cauliflower and I'm going to coat it. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of this Pam coconut oil, just a little bit so that I'm not overdoing with the oil because I am going to have some um, organic extra virgin olive oil in the dressing. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to cut this up and I will show you that before I put it in the oven. While you're cutting this up, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. So let me cut this up and I will bring you right back. Okay, so maybe I overstuffed the pan, but I'm lazy and I don't wanna use multiple pans. So I'm gonna overcrowd it. This is gonna mean it's gonna steam a little bit first and then it's going to roast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray a little bit of this coconut oil spray here. Just a little bit over it just to coat it, and I did coat the bottom of the pan before I put it on. Now I'm going to take this harissa spice here, and I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle this over the top. You could do whatever kind of peppers you like, whatever kind of um, spice mixture you like. I like a little bit of heat, and this is a great way to add some flavoring. It kind of adds that like Middle Eastern flair to it, and I, I use my thumb because it's just wide open and I don't want a giant glob of it. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna sprinkle on, as I reach off to the side, a little bit of kosher salt here. Just a little bit all over the top. I can add more later, but I can't take it off. So that was literally maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of salt over two heads of cauliflower. Let's get this in the oven, and then we are going to, again, 400 degrees, get this in. All right, let us make our dressing. To start, I am going to cut open one lemon I'm gonna use my very clean hands here and I'm gonna squeeze this lemon over my fingers. Look at that, the seeds are just falling into my hand and the juice is going out into the container. This is a nice big bowl here. Okay, so we've got half the lemon. This is a super juicy lemon here. Sometimes I will do two because I like it nice and tangy. That's just how I like it. Yes, super juicy. Um, you don't want to do this if you have a cut because that would hurt for sure. All right, we've got the juice of one very juicy lemon. How many times can I say juicy? I need to go wash these hands. 
All right, next up we have the tahini. Can I get this open? Yes, there we go. So tahini is just pure ground sesame seed. And I'm gonna add basically probably about a tablespoon or so. This is a small spoon here, um, but I don't want this to be super nutty. What I am making is actually vegan. I personally am not a vegan, but, and now let's add some olive oil. This is probably about a quarter cup here. And we're just gonna whisk this together. I'm going to whisk in a little bit of salt, a little bit more. So that's again, probably about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna use this spoon here that I got the tahini out of to mix as well. And let's, let's give this a taste. Hmm, what does it need? Believe it or not, it may actually need a little bit more lemon. No, I don't think it does. It needs just a flash of olive oil. And then I may add, no, you know what? I think I'm good. Simple works best sometimes. So we had one lemon, we had the tahini, and we had some olive oil, and that's it. A little bit of salt. You can add pepper, but I'm not going to do that because I'm using the harissa spice here. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna add this, a little bit of the spicy garlic, which I love so much. This is salt, garlic, and crushed red pepper flake. This is one of my favorites to put on, um, any sort of roasted vegetable. I just put a little bit of oil in that and it's perfect. So we will let this sit while the roasted cauliflower continues to cook in the oven. All right, I have my arugula here and I am going to take a couple of really nice, maybe, okay, I'm gonna take that giant handful and I am gonna put this into it. So it's about half the container here. Um, I would say that's about two cups loosely packed of arugula, baby arugula. And let's give this a little bit of a toss here with the dressing. And again, that is just the lemon juice, tahini and olive oil, and a little bit of salt. I'm not doing pepper because I have this harissa spice here. So that's all I need to do because right now, and I'm adding that in first for a reason. I am about to pull out my cauliflower. Before I do that though, I have a can of chickpeas here and I have rinsed it. Here's a little tip that I like to do is I will pour just a little bit of olive oil over the chickpeas in the can and I let it kind of sit there so that I'm not, that was maybe a teaspoon or so, teaspoon, couple teaspoons of olive oil. And it's gonna soak down into all of that because this is going on the roasting pan, roasting pan next. All right, we have the arugula lightly coated. Let's take out the cauliflower here. And now it's going to be time to put it directly on top of my, and you can see, steaming, I'm gonna put it directly on top of my arugula, hot, because I want this to wilt it, and you're probably getting a facial right now. I want this to wilt it enough to kind of soften the arugula, and it's going to absorb all of the amazing flavors of that dressing. Facial time. Whew, that is steamy, but you know what? That is exactly what we want. It's going to wilt the arugula a little bit. And what I am going to do next is I'm gonna take my hot pan 
and I am just going to pour out my chickpeas on it, spread it out. I am going to coat it in the harissa spice. And I don't want to put it down. Just a little bit of that harissa spice again. I'm sprinkling this off camera just because. All right, so you can see I've got a little bit of spice there, maybe a little bit more here, and I'm just kind of rolling it around to get it all coated. And let's do put this in the oven for just a couple of minutes here. In the meantime, I forgot a, an ingredient to show you, and that is some pine nuts. Basically, this is um, something I like to add. I'm gonna toast this as well in the oven when, um, but it doesn't require as much time as the chickpeas. So get, I'm putting them in the oven, the chickpeas for, I don't know, two or three minutes, and then I'm going to add the pine nuts to it as well. Um, and then I'm gonna put it all into the container, th this bowl here, whoo, that is steamy. Um, I am going to combine all of that and it's gonna be ready to eat. I will eat this hot or cold. I actually really enjoy it cold. So the reason I'm making this big bowl for myself is this is my meal prep for the week. This is a nice side for lunch. I can have this with a little bit of chicken for some protein and it's fantastic. So let me check in in a few minutes with the toasted chickpeas. I'm going to add the pine nuts to this as well. And then we will combine this and taste this. All right, we've got our chickpeas and our pine nuts out. And you can just see a few of them are starting to burst a little bit here and there. Um, I'm not doing too much to them, just a little bit. And now let us put it all into the container. Get this all in. As I've said before, I am very lazy when it comes to doing the dishes. So I literally made everything on this one pan and I am combining it into this one bowl. So I'm really not going to be able to do a whole lot of dishes. That's it. All right, now let us combine this. Oh, it smells good. It has these great Mediterranean spices to it. So let's talk for a second about if you don't have harissa spice, if you don't like arugula, it's not my favorite, but I like it in this dish. Use any sort of spice you like, any sort of um, stuff that you have lying around in the cupboard. This is just what I have. Make this your own. Use spinach instead. Um, you can add, you can do this with broccoli or something else. You can omit something, add stuff in. Uh, it's just a matter of preference. And this is honestly, this is ready to serve. This is ready to go. So I am going to heat up some chicken that I have and put this on a plate so that I can enjoy this. And we will really enjoy this for this is probably a good six or seven meals right here. All right, here's my serving. This is 10 ounces and it fills an entire bowl and it is delicious. I cannot wait to bite into this. Let me turn the camera around and we'll get my reaction. Come on, I'm trying to get a chickpea on this fork. There we go. All right, let's check my reaction. I joke about getting my reaction because I've made this multiple times and it's delicious. So I've got um, everything on one fork full here. Let's dive in. Mm. Took a big bite. I'm getting the tanginess from the lemon. I'm getting that balance of the, the spices, but it's not spicy. This is not hot at all. You know, the arugula adds a little green and freshness to it and, and kind of adds that peppery piece to it that you get with arugula in general. Um, I love this so much. I'm eating this warm right now. I've got some chicken heating up. I'm going to have with this and a great balanced meal. Um, and then I'm going to have this for lunch. 
during the week when I'm working. So it's fantastic. I hope you guys make this and enjoy it. If you do, let me know. If you make any substitutions, let me know what you do to it because I like seeing different people's twists and spins to this recipe, anything I do. Um, but until next time, create something beautiful, delicious and healthy, and I will see you guys real soon. Have a great day.